um, how did you talk talk to us how you got involved uh, with the film? Yeah, so um, as usual, again, owe it to some some really good people. Um, two years ago, or I don't even know, it's like time is so weird. It's, I guess in the, yeah, 2019, um, I helped Fox out uh, and uh, with, with the film, I, I got involved with a film about Tom Seaver, which was a Mets film, um, go figure. Um, that was, I think the film was called Seaver. It was a really nice film that, that Ed Burns EP'd and, um, and narrated. Um, and when I was done, the, uh, the executive at Fox in charge of original programming and documentaries at the time, a guy named Mike Talesian, who we all might know, um, who I've known for a long time, Mike said, you know, you should do one of these on your own. Um, Fox does a series of baseball films every year um, as part of their, you know, uh, partnership and, and coverage of, of baseball. Um, and, and, he, and he actually had the idea, he said, it's going to be 20 years uh, of, you know, 20 year anniversary of the 2000 Subway Series. Maybe you could direct one. And I kind of said, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then kind of said to myself, how am I going to do that? Because I was supposed to be at the Olympics in the summer of 2020. And, you know, but I just, you, you kind of, I think as you guys know, you know, being out there, you sort of say yes to everything. And especially when it's a good idea. Um, and right when we were going to kind of start figuring out what it was in March, uh, the pandemic hit. Um, and it was a bummer. And obviously everything got kind of slowed down. But um, I, I kept talking to Mike. And when it became apparent that baseball was going to restart, um, and obviously everyone's loads were a lot lighter last year. Um, we, we spoke and he said, look, he said, he said, I'm not sure how many we're going to do, but if we do one, uh, I think we would do this film. Um, could you do it? And, um, I had two amazing partners making the film, uh, Tim Mullen, uh, and Jackie Decker, uh, Tim, uh, one of the best editors in sports television, if not the best that I've ever worked with, uh, in terms of versatility, documentaries, teases, all kinds of stuff. Um, and Jackie, who's his creative partner and just amazing at all the things that I don't necessarily do or, or, or I'm not that great at in terms of, you know, just sort of uh, other, uh, the other things that go involved in, in telling a story in terms of music and pacing and look and all kinds of stuff like that. So the three of us uh, embarked on making the film. Um, it was in August and September. And um, fortunately in New York, like the numbers in COVID were pretty low. So we were able to, to do interviews. And I felt pretty strongly that the pandemic should be part of the show. And it was a, it, it was a tribute to New York at a time when New York was struggling. Um, so it was always, always gonna have a 9-11 component, but to kind of double up and also frame the film in terms of you know a different time in New York 20 years earlier um, was important to me as a New Yorker to tell. And um, yeah, I was, I was pretty proud of what we were able to put together. Well, you guys did a wonderful job, but I have to be honest, I had blocked all of that out. I hadn't watched yeah. any of the series. I was there, like Seth said, but I had blocked it out. So watching it, it was really, it was good and painful memories at the same time. So my question is, how was it for you? It was hard for me to watch. How was it for you directing it and writing it and going through the whole process? Yeah, no, it's funny. I mean, look, number one, what's funny is like, if you watch that film, um, I would hope that like I was able to you know, hide the fact that I'm a Met fan, right? Like, I hope it was from like an even perspective, right? Because, you know, <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's like, and even when I look at things now, it's sort of like you look at something as a fan and then it's like a filmmaker. So um, fortunately, even I can say this, and I, you know, I imagine AJ, you'd agree with me, and even Seth being a Red Sox guy, those Yankee teams, of all the Yankee teams, like in the late 90s, like that dynasty, I mean, there were a lot of things and, you know, screw the Yankees, but like they were, they were pretty likable, you know, um, they, you know, pretty admirable. Also, they had a bunch of ex-Mets. I mean, they had David Cohn, uh, who's interviewed in the film, who was fantastic. Um, Bernie Williams, who's a phenomenal guy. Um, Joe Torre, former Met, you know, classic New Yorker. Um, so um, fortunately, you know, there was, there was, there's admiration, you know, on that front too. Um, and I'd, I'd like I, to disagree with you, but I was there at game six down the left game field five. line, but uh, yeah. game six in uh, oh God, uh, in the ALCS. It, it. Sorry, in the ALCS. Oh, yeah, David Justice uh, oh, that hit one. a three-run yeah. yeah. bomb. Yeah, and the crowd erupted, and I kind of got caught up in it. And I said, "Wait a second, I hate the Yankees." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I was like, I was very conf right. conflicted. I was very conflicted at that time because things were going well in New York, and it, there was a lot of excitement, uh, especially working there. Yeah, totally. And and so again, I had graduated college in 2000, come back and the Mets 
were good again for like the first time in a lot, you know, since the early 90s. I mean, they had had a good year in 99, so it was exciting. And I actually went to game five of the uh, of the World Series. I was at that game, the, 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 the clinching game, uh, sitting in the right field corner in the blue seats with my mom. My dad got his ticket and me and my mom went to the game. And, um, <laughs> you know, so it's kind of hard for me to block it out because I was like, so, you know, and um, look, again, it's sort of like, We've all worked in sports for a long time. And one of the cool things is you're up close and things like that. But after a while, things stop moving the needle, right? It's like, yeah, I've been to the Olympics. I'm going again, you know, that kind of thing. And, and you can't help it. But, you know, interviewing Mike Piazza, interviewing Al Leiter, David Cohn, um, even Bobby Valentine, like that was really cool. And I don't often do that, you know, as, as you know, focusing on writing. And so that experience was, was definitely cool. And it was kind of odd because I was doing it literally from where I'm sitting right now. I was doing it, you know, from my apartment because, we had, you know, and, and I know you guys, you know, worked through the pandemic and so forth. So the camera crew was with the interview subject, but I was on a monitor on Zoom, um, which, again, mm -hmm. was his own challenge that we were able to, you know, overcome. And um, it was still, you know, really cool.